This is BIS 103 map part three. And this section of our BIS 103 world map will accompany lecture eight on our Pentose phosphate pathway or PPP. So what we had discussed before, we had discussed a lot of sugar metabolism. We had talked about a glycolytic pathway here, breaking down glucose to pyruvate. We had moved on in how we can break down sugars for generating chemical energy through our PDH reaction here in the presence of oxygen to generate acetyl-CoA. Then we had talked about how acetyl-CoA can enter the TCA cycle, can be decarboxylated to carbon dioxide. All the energy is going into our electron carriers, NADH and FADH2. We had briefly touched on that these can go either in our electron transfer chain or we can also use the TCA cycle for the generation of biosynthetic precursors. In addition, earlier we had discussed what is happening in absence of oxygen under anaerobic conditions, how we can break down pyruvate into lactate or ethanol as examples using fermentation with the purpose of regenerating our cofactors. And then our more recent lectures, we had started to look at how can we go back in some of these pathways. We had talked about some of the refill reactions, the anaplerotic reactions, how we can get metabolites back into the TCA cycle if we take them out for the production of other precursors. We had talked about gluconeogenesis, GNG, how we can come from non-carbohydrate resources such as lactate or amino acids and can generate sugars again, going back gluconeogenesis up to glucose 6-phosphate. We had talked about how we can go from there into, for example, making glucose polymers, glycogen here through this pathway. And we had touched on how in the liver specifically, we have a phosphatase here that can take glucose 6-phosphate all the way up back to free glucose that can be distributed through the bloodstream. And then we had touched on the Cori cycle, where we had looked at how we can combine using some of these presumably waste products, such as lactate coming out of our fermentation pathways, and how can we then cycle them back into the bloodstream, going into GNG to regenerate sugar for our system. So this is where we stood at the end of the last lectures. Today, we want to bring in the pentose phosphate pathway and PPP that interconnects with these pathways here at this step of glucose 6-phosphate. We will see in the major lecture how the PPP works, what its function is. The take-home message here for this map is that glucose 6-phosphate really is a major key branch point in carbohydrate metabolism. Right? It's a key intermediate in the activation of glucose going down the glycolytic pathway and energy metabolism. It's a key intermediate also here in GNG and glycogen biosynthesis, and it's a key intermediate here, siphoning off glucose 6-phosphate as one of the substrates for our PPP.